Only one place to start this morning, and that's with the reunion of separated families that begins in a matter of hours. It's the first such event in three years. The families heading north as we speak have lived with the painful thought that they might pass away before seeing their loved ones again. But finally, this afternoon, they, that will change for the roughly uh, 90 South Koreans who were selected from a pool of tens of thousands of South Koreans who applied. Let's turn to our Park Hee-Joon, who is one of the reporters who is covering the event for us this week. So Hee-Joon, this week's reunions will undoubtedly deliver a wave of intense emotions for those involved, as well as those of us in Korea and around the world as well when we start seeing the footage. But let's start with what's been happening today. Mark, today is going to be a ray of light for these separated families who've been waiting for this moment for so long since they were first torn apart some 70 years ago. Like you said, the first session of the 21st Inter-Korean Family Reunion begins today. For three days, these selected 89 South Koreans will be able to meet their families living north of the border, relatives they haven't been able to communicate with since the outbreak of the Korean War, and relatives they haven't, able, haven't been able to confirm alive until very recently. Now on Sunday, they've been staying here at the Hana Resort in Sokcho. Today after breakfast, they and their ven uh, chaperones boarded buses and set off to North Korea's Mount Kumgang Resort, which is the main venue for the event. Now I could really see how nervous they were. It's something that they've only dreamt of since the moment they were ripped apart from their loved ones. It was as if the participants, mostly over 80 years old with many older than 90, had been living to experience this moment for this rare chance to see their families again. They arrived at the Customs, Immigration and Quarantine Office of Kosong about half an hour ago, and they're expected to arrive at Mount Kumgang by 12.30 p.m. Korea time, just two and a half uh, hours away from now. After they have lunch, they'll finally get to meet their long-parted relatives for the first time in several decades, which will be the highlight of today's event. From 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. for two hours, the meeting room will be charged with emotion, smiles and tears as the participants see the faces of their part of relatives for the first time since the two Koreas were divided. And after that meeting, they will end the day by attending a welcoming banquet hosted by North Korea. Today's reunion will be very dramatic, extremely emotional for the participants and for everyone watching the event in Korea and around the world. And for many, if not all of them, this will be ver their very last opportunity to see their relatives. So this will make this event that much more special and meaningful. Back to you, Mark.